Welcome to another vlog. Um, I've just woke up and I'm about to make some coffee. Um, so we're about to get ready. Um, so today we plan to go see my grandma. And I don't really see a lot of family so it will be so good to see her. Uh, she is an hour and a half away from me where I'm at. So it's like a little mini road trip if you will. So it's going to be so fun. Um, her whole backyard is a huge golf course, so we're going to go play some golf, and we're actually going to go eat some brunch first, and then head over there to play some golf. And then we got some little evening plans for later on this evening, so it's going to be so fun, and I can't wait to bring y'all along. And I just want to thank y'all for all the love and the support on my channel. It really means so much to me, and I, so I just thank y'all for that. So I can't wait to have y'all join me for these days of my life. I can't wait, so let's get this day started. Just checking um, emails and YouTube notifications. Um, oh, and it looks like I'm getting a package today, which is so exciting. I cannot wait. I didn't think it was going to come today. Um, but I'm just going to drink my coffee for a little bit and be on the computer. Um, emails, everything like that. And then I'm going to start getting ready. So makeup is done. I just did some light makeup. Um, I'm, I'm about to get dressed and um, start packing some snacks because um, later this evening after my grandma's um, and playing golf, we're going to go um, down to Houston and go to Miller Outdoor Theater. Some parts of the park um, you do have to pay for and have like a certain ticket for, but um, where we're going is totally free. Um, anyone can join. Um, we're going to be sitting in hillside seating. Um, so that part's totally free, um, so there's no ticket required for that. Um, so you can bring a chair or you can bring a blanket um, and bring like your little snacks with you to have like a little cute picnic. So that's going to be our plans for this evening. So I'm about to go pack the snacks for that, but I'm so excited and ready. But if y'all want to know the lipsticks that I use, I use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Pencil and the Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick and Pillow Talk. Both of them are in Pillow Talk and the, this two combo is beautiful. It's amazing. And that's what I have on right now. But yeah, this is what I use in Charlotte Tilbury. I have to fit on today. I just have on my Amazon Lululemon dupe um, sports bra with my little cute golf skirt which is also from amazon it is a skirt, so like there's shorts underneath and then it goes into a skirt and it's just cute for golfing i have all my spring edition new balances and then i just pair this lululemon um belt bag with it so like when i'm on the golf course i have something to put my phone in my keys my camera just like something like when i'm on the golf course I'm also bringing my Kate Spade bag with it as well, just so I can have like on the go. Um, so that way like I can keep my camera tripod, just like the big things in here and the heavy things. So I'm just gonna wear this. I'm just gonna wear this belt bag on the golf course though, but this is the fit today. And I'm gonna pack John's outfit and then pack the snacks and we're gonna get ready to go. The snacks that I'm gonna bring, I was thinking like maybe we can make like, um, like little Mediterranean um, turkey wraps. Um, so I just have some arugula that I could bring for the wraps. I have um, some tortilla that I'm going to pack as well. These are the, I wish I had the almond flour siete wraps, but these are just the HEB um, whole wheat tortillas. Um, I got some sliced turkey breast and some sliced cheese as well. 
Um, so if we wanted to do wraps, we have options. We could do the tortilla, or we can make a little sandwich out of these bagels, so the Asiago cheese bagels. Some Mediterranean hummus from H-E-B, and this one is so good. I think this one's the best one other than that other brand. Like the H-E-B hummus is so, so good. So have some pickles and bring that. I hope this is gonna be good by sitting out in the car all day, but it's okay. Um, also, have this. I think I'm packing so much more snacks than I really need, but um, I have these pack of hot Cheetos, which I could put on like the wrap if I wanted to. It actually, I had one last night. It was so good with this on it. So I've just been craving hot Cheetos. Um, I also have this bag of Siete lime tortilla chips. Um, so I'm thinking I could bring this with a dip that I'm going to bring. Let me show y'all. Kite Hill French onion dip, which is made with almond milk. So it's like a dairy free um, dip. And then I'm going to bring these Simple Mills tomato basil almond flour crackers. Got a big bag full of stuff that we're bringing. I have a rug out of my living room and it's still on my patio. I had a girl, I had to wash all the bedding, all the stuff animals and rice and fruit. Well, I'm going to be going to grandma's today and we're going to go play golf over there. We're heading to grandma's after we eat some brunch. I actually brought a Trader Joe's bag because the other one was ripping. So I just put the snacks in this little bag. <laughs> my grandma's backyard and she has a whole big giant golf course all like over there it's so pretty and this is where we're gonna go play golf at Pull for the readers. Okay, thank you I would put it down the right side of the fairway I think the shot <laughs> Like it so far? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> We're in like the practice shoot right now. We're not actually playing golf because honestly, we need the practice. So it's going to be a long game with Rowan if we actually play, but a little practice shoot is nice. Oh, that was a good one. Love you, Grandma. We made it to Miller Outdoor Theater. So it's like this whole big trail. So we're going to walk to it and find it. But the whole parking spot was so hard to find a parking spot. So, but we got our snacks and we're gonna go find the theater. the hill the concert will be performing over there yeah we're choosing a spot so we got all of our picnic stuff set up to make little wraps and sandwiches it's gonna be so fun i can't wait so what's playing tonight we don't really know what's playing. We just came for the event, <laughs> literally.
Almost done with my wrap. Yeah. There's like so many airplanes and like kites flying around. It makes you just like want to like lay down, right? Just got home. Um, we got back so late. It's like currently midnight right now. Um, so I just got out the shower. I'm so tired, but I just got out the shower. Um, did my skincare. I took an everything shower, by the way. So that was much needed. Um, but I wanted to show y'all because I got my little package in the mail and it's my wedding ring. It's my actual wedding ring. My husband got my wedding ring made in London. It's from this little small business that I support and it's my favorite jewelry brand ever. And she's affordable and she's in, um, the UK. So she just makes this stunning jewelry and it's amazing and look all her packaging is cute and pink and she even put a little heart sticker on there so phantom jewels you are the babe yeah so i can't wait um the ring i showed my ring in the last vlog of what i have now but i just have this square one it's called the pink parfait it's from her website um i've had it for a couple years so it is foggy so i need to get it cleaned but this is just the one that I have now from her shop. It's so stunning. She has different other pink rings. She has engagement rings, wedding rings. Um, the one that I got is the Pinch Me I'm Engaged. It's the Sterling Silver Ring. Look, look at her packaging. Like, isn't this so cute? Like, I, I extremely love this packaging. It's so, so cute. And then she just adds a cute little card in here. I'm so excited. Um, usually when I got the other, oh my gosh, it's so stunning. Look at this packaging. It's like leather. It's like pink leather. Guys, I'm literally going to cry. Oh my gosh. It's so much more beautiful than I thought. This is my ring. It's a 18 karat gold band and it has an oval diamond. So stunning. Oh my gosh. Sure, but I'm an extra small in the rings. It's either a four or a five. But this is so stunning. I am so happy. It looks so good. Now this actually looks like a wedding ring now. This one is called Golden Hour. And this is the one that I got for free with the purchase of my wedding band. So stunning. I just love this so much. It's just such an amazing jewelry brand. I am in love with it. Um, so if you do want to take an interest in her jewelry and... Purchase one for yourself. Use code CUSTOMER15 in all caps for 15% off your first order. Thank you, Phantom Jewels, for the amazing jewelry. It has to be a little spoon. I just did the heatless curls and they actually look really good. I just need to brush them out um, a little bit, but they, yeah, they look so good. And um, I am going to start doing them a lot more because they do look really, really good. So I'm, I'm happy how they turned out. Um, so I just woke up and I'm going to make some coffee and um, do my makeup so I can let like these curls sit. And after my makeup, I'm just going to go ahead and brush them out so, like, they're not so curled. But I am impressed. Like, these actually look really good. So, yeah. So, I'm fixing to get ready, and I'll update y'all after. Okay, so, well, what do we think? This is the outfit for church. Cute. Just a simple cardigan. And then I have my ridged pants from H&M. I forgot where the top's from. I'm thinking like JCPenney or Macy's. Old and Navy. I have these heels. I don't really have any nice flats because they were so ruined. I had to like go through my closet one day and toss a lot of my shoes because they were all ripped and everything. But what do we think? This is like the only nice shoes I have and they're sparkly. So 
I mean, these could work. I don't know. But uh, we're going to see. I'm going to try them on. I really don't want to wear heels, though. The heels or no heels? I knew I was going to do this. I actually changed into my Steve Madden sandals. They're just so much more comfortable. And me and John are kind of like the same height anyways. And I don't want to really be taller than him in that. Like, I'll wear heels if I have to, like, if I go to a formal event. But, like, for church, I kind of just want to stick with my flats because I will be taller than my husband. And I can't have that. So, sandals it is. So, we're going to go. Um, I am bringing my pink Kate Spade bag because it matches me. But I don't know if you want to wear it like this or... Like that, but pro probably like this. I mean, it could fit like this. And then, guys, where are we matching my Bible today? This is a fit. Um, they are dark chocolate chip. Some food. Okay. Look. So we're back home. Um, I'm about to go get my swimsuit on to head down to the pool. I'm going to bring all the food stuff down there with me um, a little bit later on because I'm not ready to cook right now. I'm going to cook kind of like closer um, to the evening time. Um, so when we tried to reserve the grill down at the pool, that's what we were going to do. We were going to grill at the pool today and relax. But when we tried to reserve the grill, they said the grills here are closed for the season, which I'm really not sure why. So yeah, the grills are closed. So I have a, the, um, the Drew Barrymore griddle. It's in like an electric griddle. So we're still trying to like make it work. So we're just going to go plug that up down there, bring it down there and like kind of cook our dinner, um, with that. So I think that'll be like so much better, but I'm fixing to go get my swimsuit on. Um, I just been filming some TikToks, um, right here. So I have like my little tripod set up right there, um, in front of the window. I was filming a little TikTok, but yeah, so, um, filmed a few TikToks when we came home from church. We had lunch at church, which was like the little, um, chip salad hot dog stuff like that which was a beef hot dog I don't eat any type of pork and I made sure it was beef so I had one um but um it, I got to experience um it's just so fun because I got to experience some um baptisms and it just warms my heart like every time I see those baptisms like every time it just warms my heart every time and it's just such a sentimental and just um, a glorious thing to just witness and giving uh with people giving their life to jesus christ and it's just amazing so i'm glad i got to be a part of that i'm glad i went to church this sunday um if we're really not feeling it me and my husband just watch it on tv but i'm so glad we went today i'm gonna um go ahead and get changed into my swimsuit and i'm gonna try to find like a my little chair floaty i have for the pool it's somewhere in my closet so i think i want to bring that today it's like a big giant um lounge chair float so i kind of want to lounge in that today um so yeah it's gonna be fun and we're gonna grill and chill so i just got my swimsuit on um, I'm just wearing this one because this is the, this is the only one I have like clean right now. I have other ones, but they just don't really fit me anymore, and I barely buy swimsuits as it is. Because um, last year they closed the pool for the whole summer, so I didn't really. I, all I got last year was that yellow one um, for my birthday. But I'm wearing this, and I just need to find a swimsuit cover, and then I'm gonna head down there. <music> So 
I brought some snacks. We have all the snacks. We have some Siete lime tortilla chips. And then I wanted to try out this Kite Hill French onion dip, which looks really good. It's dairy free. So I've never tried this. I've tried the plain cream cheese before, which is good. So I'm excited for this one with the chips. I also brought some rice cakes along with some almond butter um, to put on them as well. Got some hot chips too. Um, and then I brought some of these um, juicy juice boxes for Rowan. And then I brought his sunblock and then I have my water, so. Um, yeah, everything's good. Oh, and if y'all haven't tried Kula, I got some Kula sun cream for me. This is actually really good. You could get it from Ulta. Um, I love Kula. This is in the Pina Colada scent. And I really love this. This is dinner tonight. We just have some, I just grilled up some um, teriyaki chicken. Uh, jacket potato we got um, Brussels sprouts and rice but it looks so good I'm yeah, I'm excited I'm having some yogurt this morning I just had this so delicious dairy-free vanilla yogurt I think it's like made with like coconut milk so I'm gonna have this with some granola and I think I'm gonna put some like little mini semi-sweet chocolate chips in it so so I have some mini chocolate chips and then I use this nature's path um, coconut and cashew butter granola um, this one is so good because I like that it has little coconut flakes in there and little um, cashew butter pieces in there and like little cashews. I love that. So we're going to eat this today. So I'm just going to use this. Um, I used to have these uh, little parfait glasses, which I need to get some, but I ended up giving them to my mother-in-law um, just because I never really used them, but now I wish I had them so I'm just gonna use this little pumpkin dish I have kind of added a little bit too much it's okay and that is my little parfait. So here's my lunch. I have just a turkey cheese, arugula, pickles, and hummus on my wrap with some everything bagel seasoning and some pepper. And then I have my rice, salt, pepper, everything bagel seasoning. I have some potato and then paired it with some hummus and my Siete lime tortilla chips. And this is lunch. I have my Lulu set on. Let me see what this jacket's looking with it. Mm, probably like that. I think that's cute, right? Maybe this one or the half zip and you could i could also make it like taller or like zip it up higher my um new balances with it these are the spring edition ones they're sold out everywhere they're kind of dirty i need to clean them but i really do like these shoes and so i settled for this one today it just fits me more loose than the other one did i love it and it has the little half zip right there this is actually the target all in motion one but it's actually a dupe for the Lululemon Scuba Half Sip. But what do we think? I just love this one so much. It's so cute. And yeah, so this is the one I'm settled for and I just love it.
We're leaving Whole Foods now and John got me some flowers. But we're gonna load the trunk up and then we're gonna go out to eat. Secure the goods. Hubby's loading the trunk. This is why I need you to, needed you today. <laughs> you needed your muscles to lift it. <laughs> Thank you. So we got some rice and beans. We got chicken fajitas for two. He got his rice and beans. And then it really got a cheese and chalada, refried beans and some rice. But it looks, everything looks so good. I'm excited. I was gonna put everything away, but I was like, you know what? Maybe I should show y'all what I got from Whole Foods today. We went grocery shopping and then we went out to eat. Um, and now we came back and I want to show y'all what I got, but we got three big bags of stuff. Usually I shop at like H-E-B or Trader Joe's, but Whole Foods had some good stuff today. So, one thing. So we did grab some bananas. Um, I was wanting to use some of these for uh, smoothies as well. So we got some of those. Um, I want to try out the Siete Vegan Grain Free Taco Shells because we are doing a little taco night. I thought that would be fun. Um, and I am dairy free. Um, not gluten free, but dairy free. And I don't, I could eat dairy, uh, gluten or, um, you know, it's just my preference. I'd rather just be dairy and gluten free. Um, I just try to stay away from dairy as much as possible. So, um, just keep, keep that in mind, but, um, I got my son some of these, um, cereal bars. He ate almost half the box. <laughs> I also grabbed these bars. These are the Simple Mills ones. These are the almond flour, um, banana bread. And this is my favorite brand of, um, the almond flour foods. So I really do like Simple meals. They really have some good ingredients in their foods. Some avocados for some avocado toast. There's a lot. So, um, also another thing of simple meals. I got their tomato and basil almond flour crackers, and also their banana bread and muffin mix. This is my favorite. And if you add some of chocolate, like mini chocolate chips, to this, it's so bomb. And I've been searching for these everywhere. And sometimes H Mart, a Korean grocery store is out of them, but these are um, Japanese sweet potatoes, which I have been trying to find these for ages, literally. So um, they're white, like a normal potato, but they taste sweet, like a sweet potato. They're just not orange. And I think these are a major win because I am so excited for these. I'm gonna pair these with um, some taco meat. I'm gonna make some taco bowls. So I'm gonna pair these with some taco meat and a little spring mix salad. These are, I can't wait. I'm so excited for these. Fresh bakery bread so i grabbed some bagels did it rip no okay i grabbed three sesame they didn't have everything bagels so i grabbed three sesame bagels and one cinnamon raisin um, this one just looked good and if rowan will want this then he could have this one but cinnamon raisin is so good so i grabbed that big thing of bagels the bakery ones are always so much better um, got a big sourdough bowl uh, for avocado toast. And how do y'all store y'all's bread when y'all buy them like that? Because usually I'll just put them in the fridge um, just so they can keep fresh for longer. But how do y'all store them? Siete taco seasoning. All they had left was the spicy. Um, I also grabbed some stuff for some wraps. Uh, we had wraps over the weekend for like our little picnic and they were just so good and so we had to buy some i just forgot to get some cucumber and ground chicken and stuff but we could i'm just going to go back to whole foods tomorrow to grab that but we got some oven roasted turkey and then we got some chicken and to go with it we got the um 
what is this provolone cheese okay and when i said i would stay away from dairy right i couldn't find dairy free cheese for the life of me i guess i don't know what i'm looking for i just couldn't find it so you know and you know dairy free cheese to, j uh, dairy free cheese doesn't melt like normal cheese does so you know i'm still gonna stick with this i don't have any um allergens to dairy and gluten i just prefer to be i just like it better that way um i drink almond milk oat milk you know some nut milk stuff like that um, i don't really drink cow milk or like to eat anything with dairy in it besides cheese cheese is like the only one that i will eat of dairy but that's just about it um i think i have to get used to dairy free cheese because i tried it once before and it tasted kind of gross in my opinion but i will definitely try it again but I guess cheese is fine, but if I see dairy-free cheese next time, I will give it a go and try it again. Then I saw these, which I'm so excited for. These are um, grain-free. They're almond flour chocolate chip cookies. They're by the Miss Jones. They were right next, they were at Whole Foods right next to the um, Sweet Lorenz cookies, which I love those. But these are almond flour, and so I can't wait to give this a go. These were the only ones in the purple bag that were almond flour, so I'm excited for these. And, you know, we always have to get something sweet every time we grocery shop. And then I got the, I didn't see the Siete almond flour tortillas brand, so I got the Whole Foods brand of almond flour tortillas for tacos. Spring mix. And then I'm so excited. They had the kava. I didn't know this. They had the kava brand of hummus. And I grabbed the spicy one. All they had was the original and spicy. So I grabbed spicy. And guys, I cannot wait to give this a try. Even dipping this in like cucumbers. Oh my goodness. And that's what I forgot. I forgot my cucumbers for my wraps. And I like putting hummus on my little tortilla turkey wrap. So I'm just excited they had the kava brand. Some taco sauce. To so grab this Kite Hill cream cheese. This is a garden veggie one. I've heard that... Um, this one was really good. I have the plain one. I've tried the plain one, and then I tried the French onion dip, and that one's really good. I just feel like the French onion didn't have much flavor, but I am giving this high hopes because the garden veggie is, like, very hard to find, and Whole Foods has it. So I don't know if these are dairy-free. It says free from 14 allergens. They're semi-sweet. Um, they're nut-free and gluten-free, but they are mini chocolate chips. And I didn't know they made dairy-free chocolate chips, but I don't know. These are nut-free and gluten-free. And the mini, the, these are for um, the True Whip, um, which I forgot to get. It's been my favorite go-to snack. Thank you to this one creator, Sydney Adams. Girl, you hooked me on it. Some mini chocolate chips with the um, Cool Whip, the True Whip. It's like the best healthy late night snack to cover your sweet craving and it has to be the mini chocolate chips i definitely agree so got that for that also i like to put these in my yogurt with some granola so which is the forager um cashew milk yogurt and called gotham greens it's lemon basil vinaigrette i've never tried this before but i think it'll be good over the spring mix salad that i bought um this one is vegan let me see yeah it's plant-based dairy-free and gluten-free so it seems like a good salad dressing so i'm giving this a try and whole, whole foods is a little bit pricey um but you're getting like so much more better quality of foods and it's just so amazing so it's like worth it to me my poppies the best drinks ever strawberry lemon we got not one but two dot pops which are my favorite because i love dr pepper now i'm surprised i can give up actual dr pepper and switch to these this is how good this is proof of how good these are because i gave up my dr pepper for poppy and it has to be poppy and then we got not one <laughs> But, oh wait, that's an orange one. <laughs> okay, well we got an orange one and I got two, there we go. Two colas, classic cola, can't go wrong with that. And then we got some ginger lime, which is like the Sprite, so. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So we got seven. And that's all we got today to last us a whole week. We are gonna go back to Whole Foods tomorrow and pick up some stuff that um, we just forgot. I think we forgot like three things. Um, so we're, we need to get some meat for our tacos. We need to get some of that True Whip I missed. And there was some other stuff we needed, but we're gonna go back to grocery shop tomorrow uh, for the rest. And we're not gonna go too crazy because we don't really like to buy a lot all at once. Um, so, yeah, we'll just get a couple more things tomorrow, and um, I'll probably bring y'all along for that, too, just so y'all can see what else we get. Um, but for now, I'm going to um, load this all in the fridge, in the pantry, and I'm going to call it a night because I am exhausted. And I'll see y'all guys in the morning. I just woke up, and I'm eating one of these... Um, banana bread, Simple Mills bars in there. So good, guys. Literally the best one. Today, um, we are looking at new apartments today. i going to look at other apartments and see what else we can get. And, um, yeah, so we're going to be doing that, but just online today, um, my husband's taking care of that, but today we are going to go um, have a nail day. So I definitely need one so bad. So, so, so bad. Um, these nails I've had for literally four weeks. It's been like a month since I've had these. And I cannot believe they lasted this long, but we are in definite need for a fill today. So um, I'm thinking more, it's like something more neutral like something more on the neutral side probably um the two iconic opi colors which is going to be two coats um one coat funny bunny two coats bubble bath i think i'm gonna aim for that just because i want like a soft um soft milky pink so i think that's going to be the ones that i get today so Gonna have a nail day today, but I'm gonna just um, make some coffee, make some breakfast, and uh, later this evening I'll get ready to go to my nail appointment. I have to go in the evening because Sean gets off work around four, so. Yeah, that's the plans for today right now. Just looking for apartments wow. online and go to go get my nails done. And that is what I call some good coffee. Yeah. Yeah, this is my lunch plate. So here's the set with the matching pants. I think it looks so good. It really does. I think this is how you're supposed to wear it anyways and style it. So I think this is actually really cute. So I think I'm wearing this today. I'm also wearing my biker shorts underneath just in case if the pants get dirty, uh -huh, I could just take them off and just wear the shorts. But I think this is gonna be a little fit today. But these are the Simple Mills Almond Flour Nutty Banana Bread Bars. And these are so good. I'm taking a couple with me for a snack, just in case if I um, am craving a little snack and get hungry. So, But these are so good. And these are my favorite brand. I love Simple Mills. They have really good stuff. I love how they're made with like almond flour. And even on the back, they're just, um, you can see they're just made with natural, like healthy ingredients. And... These are so good. So a little bit about my nails. I have had these for a month already. I'm so surprised that they lasted this long. Um, but I do want to do something neutral. And I do want to match my nails to my outfit. I love doing that. So I wore all white. Uh, because I'm getting like a milky pinky white. And I um, love the OPI colors. And so I'm just going to get... Um, one coat funny bunny and two coats bubble bath um i always get the almond shape i just i can't do any other shape um i just feel like the almond nail shape just complements my fingers so well just complements everything so well um so yeah i'm gonna try the opi colors today and i don't know i was just craving something neutral for my nails um because i've been doing colors lately and it's good to be in my like little colorful girl era but i was just craving something neutral i get those today for my nails but 
literally four weeks in the making. Time to get some fresh ones. Vivian, thank you. Have a good one. Nice to see you. We got my nails. They are so pretty. This is what I needed. She did so good, and it's good to be back in my neutral girl era because after all the color, the color is fun, but I need my neutrals and. These, this is, I did, it's the OPI, and I did one coat Funny Bunny and two coats Bubble Bath, and this is like the perfect combo. They are so, so beautiful. This is like my go-to nail, so these are so pretty. Yeah, this is like my go-to um, nail combo now, and it feels so good to be having my neutral nails again, literally. I think I'm going to get another fill on these in like three to four weeks because this is like the best combo ever. But right now I'm going to go home and go pick up Rowan and John and we are going to go grocery shopping for some more stuff because I mentioned yesterday I'm going to bring y'all along with me um, to pick up some other things that we didn't get. We still need a lot more. Um, I might go back to Whole Foods, we'll see, um, but I do need to go to HEB as well um, to get some other stuff. So we're going to go get them and then we're going to go grocery shopping. So I went ahead and grabbed a couple things um, and I didn't even show y'all last time, I put it all away, I didn't even show y'all. Um, so I got this, it's like some vegan um, cool Whip. It's called Cocoa Whip. It's from the So Delicious brand. Um, this one, I stocked up on this one too because I like the True Whip vegan one. Just make sure you get the vegan because they have the original and a keto one that's made with um, milk and it's not dairy free. But this one that's vegan, the Blue Tub, is dairy free. So I got that. But I wanted to try this one too. Um, it's made with... Um, coconut oil and a coconut milk so I think this one it's gonna be good I, I know I like the true whip one already but this is such like a little healthy late night snack dessert um, just to put like little mini chocolate chips in it it's it's so good literally so I got two of them just picked up some peppered turkey bacon um, I also have this, which is a coconut cream and almond milk dairy-free heavy cream. I think you can use this for a creamer too, but uh, for a, a dinner option, I'm just going to make like a homemade gravy. And then I came across this. This is the Siete Black Refried Beans. It's made with avocado oil. These are actually so good. I actually grabbed a pinto beans one as well, which I need to try. Um, but I um, got these for taco night. And I got some brown sugar oat creamer for my coffee, some vanilla almond milk for smoothies, and then regular oat milk for coffee. I picked up some dates for smoothies. And then I just picked up some a couple things of ground turkey. This is a ground turkey I get. Um, it's the 99% lean and then 1% fat. I also grabbed a thing of ground chicken and then some chicken breasts as well. That's like everything that I got right now. So tonight for dinner, I think I'm going to make some taco bowls with those Japanese sweet potatoes. I can't wait, I've been waiting to try those. Um, I've been actually looking at apartments on the computer because um, we might be moving. Um, so yeah, where we might just be in this whole new moving journey. And if we, if we are, we're just looking right now, but if we are, um, I'm going to start like a moving series, so that will be fun, so we'll see.
this is like honestly the best cream cheese. I love the garden veggie cream cheese, but it's so hard to find. Um, this one is so good. I have the plain one too, which I like, but the garden veggie um, is so good. These are just the sesame bagels from Whole Foods, and these are so good. Um, if you buy bagels, buy the bakery fresh ones, even including their bread. It's so good, and nothing comes close because these are the best ones. So I just got ready. Um, we are going to go to Best Buy. I'm going to see if they have like a little um, flashlight for my camera because I have the Sony ZV-1F. And it's more for like video quality, but not so much for pictures. So it doesn't come with a flash or anything. Um, but it has like a little attachment at the top to where you can um, attach like a little Sony flashlight to it. Which will be so good for pictures and videos for like nighttime. So I'm going to see if they have that. But also we are going to um, pick up a, a PS5 game, um, like the PGA Golf PS5 game for my husband's PS5. So we're going to do that too, but a little outfit of the day. I just threw on my Lululemon biker shorts. I have this um, top from Shein. It has like cute little ruffles right here, which is really cute. And the straps tie. Um, and I have my um, Kate Spade bag and then I have my little sparkly juicy couture sandals But that is the fit today and I just threw my hair up in a little cute bun so that's the fit for today And this one they have the Canon G7X here. This is the, actually the camera that I was wanting This has always been my dream camera, but I have the Sony ZV-1F, so this is the one that I do have, um, but one day if I get this camera, I would use this specifically for just pictures while I use my Sony for my videos because this one is known for their pictures other than their video quality, but this is still a really good camera. Um, the Mark II is better. They also have the Mark III as well. And then I used to have this one. This is the SX740. It looks just like the um, G7X, but I, I used to own this one. Okay, so they have the Canon light I see right here. The Nikon light they have. But I don't see Sony. But that's okay. I might have to go to a different one or come back. I would do that one, but I'd rather have one that matches my camera. But this is like something that I need right here. Where are we going? Uh, checky, checky. <laughs> we, I was going to cook dinner tonight, but decided that it's already late. It's already like 7.15 right now. So I'm going to go out to eat and get some food. So that's what we're doing. make my little late night dessert snack um, but I want to show y'all I went ahead and ordered these from Amazon their little dessert glasses and I want to use these for my little um, whipped cream my dairy-free whipped cream my chocolate chips um, to eat that in I think they're so cute they're like little round small um, parfait cups so I ordered these. They come in a pack of four, and I think I ordered the last ones because there was one left. Um, I'm going to see about trying to make an Amazon storefront and linking all of my faves. We'll see. And I'm definitely adding these on there. This is, like, definitely, like, a must-have. They're, like, little cute small dessert bowls. I went to Whole Foods and I grabbed some um, other stuff that we needed that we were running out of already. Um, so I just want to give y'all a little quick Whole Foods haul. 
This is literally just my third time going grocery shopping this week, but you know, I gotta get the basics. So, first off, I had to get some Siete almond flour tortillas. I needed more of these. Um, when I went later this week, they didn't have any, and I had to get the Whole Foods brand, which is fine, but I love my Siete brand of almond flour tortillas, and I have been obsessed with the turkey wraps lately, so I got more of those. Um, also, some more um, turkey breast. This one is the smoked turkey breast. I think I got the oven roasted one last time. So I got that. I got more bananas for smoothies because we were running out of those. And the, la the last thing I got were the Simple Mills nut butter stuffed cocoa cashew cream cookies. And I guess these are going to taste like better than Oreos, obviously, but it's, they're new and it's, I don't know, it looks good. Little nut butter cookies. So I'm really excited for these. Anything that comes out of Simple Meals, I'm literally excited for. So I'm actually going to try one of these. I'm excited. And I know John is going to love these too. I don't know, do y'all always have to get something sweet every time you grocery shop? Because I do, literally. So this is it. It just has the little cashew butter on the inside. Mm-hmm. Wow. These are like my new fave. All right, so I'm gonna go home and unload this. I'm gonna uh, make some lunch and uh, probably make like a little smoothie, but I think I'd rather just have lunch first and probably make a smoothie this evening and then we are cooking dinner this evening. We're gonna have like little taco bowls. So yeah, we're gonna have that. And I'm actually gonna try those Japanese sweet potatoes and I'm so excited for that. I've been waiting to try them because um, I love normal sweet potatoes, but I've been waiting for those Japanese sweet potatoes. So we're gonna have, I'm excited for dinner tonight, but we're gonna go home and make some lunch. And me and John are actually um, going to be looking at apartments. We have one um, agent that's helping us look um like provide a list for us of different apartments that we need to move to within our area so we're gonna um they emailed um john the list this morning so it's just like a big list of all um apartment complexes that we might be interested in so we're gonna go look at that so we're gonna um yeah, we're going to go look at that list and go over it and see. But yeah, we're apartment hunting. We got taco bowls tonight. So we got the chicken, taco meat. We got Spanish rice. We got salad mix with some um, pickled onions. We got the black refried beans, siete taco shells. And then we got the Japanese sweet potato. And I put some hot sauce and taco sauce on top. about to go tour some apartments with my husband and Rowan will be with us. I'm about to bring y'all along with me. I can't wait. I'm so excited and we actually chose two places. Um, so we're touring one place now. We're going to call the other place to see if we can get a tour in for that too. But we narrowed it down to two places where we're choosing from. So I'm very excited. I'm nervous. I just hope it all works out. But I'm going to put it in the Lord's favor and it's going to be his decision. Um, to for him to choose where we live but I am so excited for this journey and, and you know if it doesn't scare you then it's probably not meant to be right but we're gonna go toward this one place today and I'm so excited and it's um, in my childhood hometown so I can't wait That 
was it for the apartments. Um, I like the first one a lot better than the second one. Just hope that we can get approved for the first one and I just want to put it all in the Lord's hands because he got us and I just want him to decide where we're going to be at. If we do move, we're going to be planning on moving within the next 30 days, so within the next month. So I'm so excited and um, just one thing about the about the complex is that it doesn't have a gym and it doesn't have a pool but they have like a little water splash pad area for the kids so that's good but uh, it's kind of a bummer but I mean if I wanted to work out I can just really get a gym membership or work out at home I really do like that place and it just looked it looks so nice and I just, I, I can't wait. So I'm going to put it on the Lord's hands. But I'm going to go ahead and close out the video here. I just thank y'all so much for watching. It literally warms my heart. I'm actually starting on a new vlog tomorrow. So I'm closing out this video. And I'll see y'all guys in the next vlog. Bye guys.